primary hypooxaluria is a family of diseases. So there are three types of the disease and they all, uh, as the main characteristics, result in an overproduction of oxalate in the liver. The liver is uh, uh, the organ where usually um, the oxalate gets uh, uh, metabolized. Oxalate is a substance which is not very soluble, especially when it binds to calcium. It, uh, uh, it forms calcium oxalate crystals and can crystallize out in the urine. It can crystallize out in the renal uh, parenchyme um, and it, it can form calcifications. Um, um, these three uh, forms of disease, they're all uh, genetically, uh, um, uh, can, can be genetically con confirmed. Um, the most patients uh, as a first symptoms have uh, stone events. Uh, stone events in, in young kids usually is very unusual. So I'm a pediatrician myself and um, I think I've seen only one or two children in, in my, my life as a practicing, uh, practicing uh, uh, pediatrician with uh, stone uh, events. So whenever uh, a child has uh, a stone event, or when an adult has recurrent stone events, then when you should think about this disease, and especially since this is a genetic disease, it autosomal recessive uh, inherited. So if you have somebody in your family who also had history of uh, stone events, then you should start thinking about this disease.